Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use your Babyliss curling wand to turn your hair from this into this. I'm also wearing a set of clip-in extensions, the deluxe 20 inch set which you can buy from my website www.carolynbaxter.co.uk Hi guys, it's Carolyn and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the curling wand. Now, I got this for Christmas and oh my god it stressed me out so much. I put up a video after I tried to use it and it was so confusing. It was just sliding to the end. It was um, just not curling the way that I expected it to. So I've been practicing and as you can see, it works. And this is quite big hair I have. Um, I'm gonna show you guys now how to use it and how to curl the extensions. And I'm gonna give you a few little hints and tips as well and tell you where I was going wrong. First of all, when you're curling it, make sure that you're holding the rod down the way. The other thing that I have to say is always wear your glove. Um, this is the mistake that I made when I first used it and it meant that I wasn't getting the curl to the bottom of the hair. Um, but the glove meant that I could wind it right round the rod, right to the very end, without burning myself. Whereas before, when I wasn't wearing it, I was leaving the end and also um, wear the glove if you're right handed on your left hand I seem to find that was the easiest way to do it. So that's a few tips and now I'm going to show you how I did it with my hair and my hair extensions. For this you'll need your curling wand, a hair clip, your glove that comes with the curling wand and a hairbrush. Off by sectioning your hair so that you have a little area at the bottom you can start curling. We're going to work through the hair section by section to give it more volume. Put on your glove. Now that's a very important thing when you're using the wand. Take your wand and place the widest part as close to the root as possible and then twirl the rest of your hair right to the end of the barrel, the slim end. And do it as far as you can. Now make sure you go right to the end or you'll end up with straight ends that don't curl. Hold it there for about six seconds with it facing down the way and then slide it out of the curl and then hold the curl for a little bit because that means that the cool air allows it to set and then just let go and you should have a perfect curl. Then you're going to be doing it in small sections. Make sure they're not too big because the hair can slide down the wand if it's too thick. So again, make sure you're pointing the wand down the way and then sliding it out of the curl after six seconds. Hold for a few seconds just to let it set and then let go. Now the thing that I was doing wrong yesterday was I wasn't holding the wand at this angle so it's best to kind of hold it, like I said, pointing, pointing down the way so that you can get the widest part of the barrel as close to your root as possible. And that's me done one section underneath. I'm now going to push back on the curl to give a wee bit more volume there. And I'm doing the same at the other side as well. Running my fingers to push the hair so that it gives a wee bit more volume. Now time for to let down another section of your hair and clip the rest up out of the way and then you're going to do the same and point the one down and twist it around. You can see I'm getting better at it. It's just about practice really, just keep practicing. Holding it for around about six seconds and then sliding it out. You're just going to carry that on until you've done all of the sections in that part of your hair. Like you can see it kind of slid down a little bit there, I had to push it back up to the wide end of the barrel. And just continue to bring down more sections of your hair and go round curling.
When you get to the top of your head, just find your parting and then curl around it the way that you would want your parting to lie. Once I've done my hair, I'm just going to push with my fingers round about the crown to give myself a bit more volume. Oh my god, it looks a bit 80s at the moment, but trust me, once you get the hair extensions in, it actually looks quite like a beachy mermaid wave. Next up, you're going to take your hair extensions and use a bit of Frizzy's um, heat protector in them. And secure them somewhere that you can place them while you curl them. If you curl them and you don't get right to the end because they're too long, then just take the end and do that separately. Sometimes the hair is too long to fit all the way around the wand, so that's why you would just do the ends separately. You can get these hair extensions from my website www.carolynbaxter.co.uk Now it's time to put them in and it's really simple. You just section your hair the way that you did when you sectioned it off to curl and you're going to put them in piece at a time. First I'm using a two clip weft. Then another two clip weft. Then a three clip weft. Then the four clip weft. They come in sets of eight wefts. Then a three clip weft. Two clip weft. I know it's so much hair, but the bigger the hair, the smaller the waist. And these are the one clip wefts at the side that I'm putting in now. That's the last two. This is the deluxe set of extensions that I've put in, so it's for mega volume. Now you can do a little back combing around the crown with your fingers, and this is what it should look like. It does drop after a little while, so it doesn't look as crazy. As you can see, it's kind of a beachy, wave, mermaidy look. Now, if this is a little bit too crazy for you, one thing I found that if you take a couple of sections from the side, twist them around your finger and pull them back, it actually gives you quite nice, kind of mermaidy style, wavy do. So if you want to go from having hair like this, to this, then why not try the hair extensions and the curling wand? You can purchase the hair extension sets from my website. They come in 14 different shades. You can then follow the videos on how to achieve some of these hairstyles.